WCCB Charlotte's Amy Cowman. She is live from Sullivan's Island, South Carolina tonight. Amy, some people are waiting until the last minute to pack up and leave. That's right. Good evening to you, Morgan. We're here at Breach Inlet, which is right in between Isle of Palms and Sullivan's Island. We've been up and down here and even over on Folly Beach uh, all day. And well, you can see it's deceiving out here. It's a bit of the calm before the storm. So a lot of people today saying oh, we're not leaving yet. We're going to wait. We're going to see how it looks tomorrow. However, many people have already heeded that evacuation warning. And even those who do say they're sticking around tonight say they're pretty sure pretty early tomorrow they're going to find somewhere inland to go and hunker down. I, li I lived here pre Hugo, so uh, I, I know to get get the heck out. out of Dodge. Yeah. The last of the locals waiting to evacuate Sullivan's Island closed down the last business open, Dunleavy's Pub. I just wanted to be open for the island residents, you know, the people that wanted to come out and not get stuck in their house yet because they're going to be stuck in their house for the next couple days. So. We decided we were going to stay open as long as we could. Most other businesses, including gas stations from across Charlotte to Folly Beach, boarded up early to heed Governor Haley's evacuation order. Probably evacuate late, late tonight when the traffic isn't as bad. One place that was packed all day, the Lowe's in Mount Pleasant. They sold out of tarps, chainsaws, and the last bit of plywood people bought for their homes and elderly loved ones. He's 85. He went through Hurricane Hugo. And the water came in, lifted his house off his foundation, and uh, the water came in so deep that it floated the refrigerator out of the kitchen into the living room. Locals say their homes are boarded up, but they aren't taking any chances on their lives. All that stuff can be replaced, if, you know, but, but you got to live. You got to do what Governor Haley said to do, get the heck out of here. And a lot of these people do remember Hugo and saying they're hearing now surges could be even higher. So definitely a lot of precautions. And then also we have heard from today that the lane reverse on 26 is actually going to be reversed back around noon tomorrow. So it will just be the one way people can now go eastbound 26, but then the one way on uh, 26, the other expecting a, a mass exodus of more people early tomorrow with it expected to hit here later on. Reporting here live in Sullivan's Island, Amy Kalman, WCCB News. Thank you, Amy.